Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we will be making some homemade sour candied orange peels that taste just like Sour Patch Kids. I hope you guys enjoy. So a few days ago, one of my neighbors brought me a huge bag of oranges, and I just knew that I had to make some Sour Patch inspired candies. I am going to begin by slicing the oranges so they are about a half an inch thick. Then I'm going to cut those rounds in half. Typically, when I'm preparing oranges for my kids, I would go ahead and cut these halves in half. I think little quarters are easier for them to hold and bite into. But for the candied orange peels, I am going to try to keep them as long as possible so I'm not dealing with a million tiny pieces of orange peel. Next, I'm going to remove the peel or rind from the fruit by cutting between the rind and the white porous tissue that is attached to the fruit. Ideally, there will be no white portion left on the rind on the first cut, but as you will see, that is not usually the case. I usually have to go back over the rind a few times to remove as much of the white tissue as possible. This is the most time-consuming and tedious step of the entire recipe, but on the bright side, I will have a bunch of orange slices that are ready for my family to devour. I'm placing the fruit in a storage container in case my husband and children don't consume everything in one sitting, and I am separating the green waste from my orange peels. I have to say, it does feel nice putting more of the orange to use. I'm excited to make this recipe again when our lemon and orange trees start producing fruit. I'm curious to see how sour candied lemon peels will compare to these sour candied orange peels. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Once all the cutting was done, we are going to transfer our orange peels to a pot with enough water to cover all the peels and bring that to a boil. Let it boil for five minutes and then drain the water. We are going to be repeating this process two more times using fresh water each time. This helps to reduce the bitterness in the peels.
After we drain the peels the final time, we are going to set them aside while we make a simple syrup. I combined three cups of sugar and three cups of water in the same pot I used to boil the peels and cooked that over medium heat until it began to simmer. Then I added the orange peels to the simmering simple syrup, turned the heat to low, and set a 40 minute timer. I stirred this mixture probably every 10 minutes until my timer went off. It's worth noting that I probably could have gotten away with only using two cups of sugar and two cups of water. You mainly just want to make sure that all of the peels are in the mixture at all times while simmering. When the peels are done cooking, we are going to transfer them to a wire rack that is resting over a cookie sheet. Or you could place the wire rack over some parchment paper, just something to catch any drippings. Let these peels cool for at least 15 minutes. When the orange infused simple syrup cools, you can transfer it to a container and store it in your fridge for other recipes. I'm thinking it might be great to use if you enjoy making sangria or something like that. Next, I'm combining a half a cup of sugar with a half of a tablespoon of citric acid. I purchased my citric acid at a nearby Winco Foods. I like how there you can purchase exactly what you need instead of buying a huge box or something like that. Mix the citric acid with the sugar and then add and toss the cooled orange peels, making sure they are completely coated with the mixture. If you just wanted candied orange peels that aren't sour, just toss the peels in sugar and don't worry about purchasing any citric acid. Then transfer the coated peels back to the drying rack for at least four hours to dry. I left mine on my counter overnight.
Once the peels have dried, I store mine in an airtight container and leave it on my counter. These are seriously such a delicious treat and definitely worth trying at least once. Let me know down below in the comments if you plan on giving this recipe a try. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.